welcome. Today we're going to be looking at um, generating, well we've already generated some fake information that now we're going to use to calculate some uh, pensionable salaries. So uh, people have asked me for real world scenarios so I'm going to make uh, this tutorial as real as I can with some very basic information. Uh, so far what we've done, we have this project I have up on GitLab. Check out the links in the description of the video for it. Once you've cloned this repository, there's a folder called uh, Yearly Salaries, and in there there are some scripts which we'll quickly review. So let me go ahead and uh, just clear this out. First of all, there is a script in here called Clean, which is going to remove all the files that we've generated uh, with the scripts. If a file hasn't been generated yet because we haven't gotten to it, you'll get an error, nothing to worry about. But let's go ahead and just review what we've done so far. I have a Get People script that downloads a file to CSV file, uh, which is like a spreadsheet. And if I cut that out, you'll see that it basically has some pretend uh, people information, names, addresses, birthdays, phone numbers, that sort of thing. And we're going to use that to create a, another spreadsheet by randomly grabbing some of those names and generating some salaries. So now we're going to say create CSV. It's going to take a second again. It's going to go through that file grab 100 random names and generate 25 years worth of made up salaries for them. Put it into a salaries.csv and there it is. Now in the last video we used the usable.csv script which basically replaces the comma as the delimiter with a pipe symbol. So now I can cut out that salaries.csv and you can see that we have these pipe symbols. It just makes it easier for us with the shell script to cut out these fields um, because we don't cut is get, will get kind of confusing with these commas in here. So now, what do we want to do? What is the semi real world scenario of this? Uh, and I'm going to base this <clears throat> off of how things are at where I work. So where I work, we have a pension and you vested six years and you have we have a 3% multiplier and you can start collecting when you're 55 or 25 years, uh, when you're 55 years old or you've completed 25 years of service. So what does that mean? What is the 3% multiplier and the 25 years? There, there's a lot to it, but the basic concept is you work at least 25 years, theoretically, to collect a pension, and then you have a 3% multiplier. So you can work more than 25 years, but however many years you work, you multiply that by three, uh, yeah, by three, and that gives you the percentage of what you'll get. And it's based on your top five years, which is important because some places will do your last five years, which may not be your highest paid years. So basically what we need to do, let me just open up our salaries.csv in LibreOffice, is we want to go through each person's name, look at all their salaries for the last 25 years, and this is not really a truly realistic spreadsheet because here everyone's worked exactly 25 years where in the real world most people haven't gotten to 25 years yet and also uh, some people might work more than 25 years uh, and some people might work less but they're older so they have a lower percentage but anyway what we want to do is find the top five years for each person based on their salary get the average of that so add them all together uh, divide it by 5 to give us the average, then we want to multiply that by 0.75 to give us the 75% of those top 5 years, and that is what that person will theoretically get uh, as their pension every year. And then we'll divide that by 12 to calculate their monthly payments. And I actually get a sheet like this with everybody that's in the pension plan every year, uh, and what they've contributed each year, and that's how it's calculated. And we actually get a sheet that tells you what you're supposed to be getting, but the sheet they give us is never right because it's based on uh, pensions that don't apply to ours. So the numbers are off, and so I have to do this each year. And so you might ask, why not just do the math in the spreadsheet? Because you could do it, but I get a spreadsheet each year, so I'd much rather write a script, and when I get that spreadsheet year, point at it, and I'll get everyone's calculations for them. So let's go ahead and start working on that. I have some scripts here. Let me list them out. Today we're going to be looking at the average, get average, and get monthly. So I'm going to cat out the get average dot, uh, uh, dot sh. This is the script. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and run that. Get average. And it's going to print out each person's name. And this is what they will get each year. So let's go ahead and look at how that script works. So I'll cat it out again, and I'll walk you through it step by step, doing one line at a time. So let me open up another shell here, 
And again, let me go ahead and just um, grab one line. So I'm going to say head dash N1. So it's a little different than the code which we're looking through. I'm just going to show you based on one person uh, salary. So there is the first person's salary, ignoring the line where I just received some mail. Um, so there we go. We have that. So again, we want to take each of those numbers, find the five highest, get the average of that, and then 75% of that. So how are we going to do that? Well, the way I went about doing it is, as you can see here, this is where our code is starting. I'm going to use the TR command, although you could use said, and I'm going to replace all our delimiters, which are the pipe character, with a new line, which is, this is why in the last tutorial we changed it from commas to uh, pipe symbols. Otherwise, we would be uh, putting new line characters in the middle of numbers. So let's go ahead and do that. I'll cut out that or head out that first line there, and I'll say TR, give it a pipe character, and new line. So there we have new line, but if I scroll up, not only do we have the numbers for that person, but we also have their name at the top. We don't want their name, so the next part of this is I'm going to grep uh, in brackets, say 0-9, and that's going to give us only lines that have numbers. So that will remove the line with the name in it. Next we want to do is we want to remove the dollar sign and comma from all these numbers, and that's what this said command does. We went over this in the previous video. Uh, we'll go ahead and pipe into that, and we'll say said, and we're saying replace dollar sign with nothing, replace comma with nothing. So now we do that, and we get the list of numbers without the commas and dollar signs. Now that we have that, we can use sort, but we have to remember to use the dash G option because we're working with numbers. So here we sort, so now our top numbers should be at the five. See, if we didn't uh, use that dash G, you can see the top numbers are not at the uh, bottom. Uh, they're actually at the top because it sees it starts with a one. So we gotta make sure that we put that dash G. Now that we have that, well, we can use the tail command, tail dash N five, and that will give us the last five numbers. Uh, so now we have the five highest years. Now we want to do math on that, and there's different ways to do math in Bash. I'm going to use BC, which is a Bash calculator. I'm pretty sure that's what it stands for. So I'm going to pipe this back in TR, and I'm going to replace all the new line characters with a plus symbol. Boom. Now we have all our numbers here, but we also have an uh, added plus sign at the end. Different ways we can get rid of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a zero to the end of that. So we're adding zeros at the end. So this may not be the cleanest way to do it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this. Hold on, let's go ahead. I'm going to say echo and put this inside parentheses with a dollar sign or with the quotations around it. And I'm going to say plus zero. And if I did that right, oh, not plus zero, but just zero. So now we have that same math with the zero, and we can now pipe that into BC, and that gives us all those numbers um, added together. Next thing we need to do is divide it by five. To make sure that we get the right number, we need to put this like this so that we use uh, the order of operations, so parentheses first, so that we add all that together. I believe I put my parentheses in the right spot, and I should be able to say, um, divide by five. And there we go. So that is the average of the top five years. But we don't want the average of the top five years. We want 75% of that. If you work 25 years, again, times three is 75. If you work 30 years, it would be more. It would be 90%, because three times, or yeah, 90%. So we're going to say times 0.75. And there is the yearly average for that person. Then what we can do up in the script I use said, but just for simplicity, I'm going to use num format dash dash g. There we go. And I can add, it's a little weird to do it this way. I'm going to say echo uh, backslash dollar sign dollar sign parentheses. This is probably getting kind of confusing for people who are not very fluent in bash. Um, what did I do here? I think I got to put it there. No, what did I do? It's getting confusing for me as well. So let's just go ahead and remove this. Okay, let me go back up a few commands. Okay, there's that. I add in echo quotation dollar sign, and again, it should be backslash dollar sign, dollar sign that. And then, oh, then here is where I want this. 
I think. No, I'm doing something wrong there. Again, writing this all as a one-liner kind of confuses the mind a little bit. Um, so let's go ahead. It's actually, ah, uh, maybe it goes here. Let's do uh, pipe this invalid number. Anyway, trying to do it as a one-liner gets confusing, which is why I put it in a script for you. So let's go ahead and look up at this script here. Uh, <clears throat> and again, so instead of reading one line, I'm going to cap the entire file. I'm going to loop through it. So while and so each line is now called line in a variable. We're going to say echo that line and cut the first column based on delimiters and it says field one. So that will print out the name. So that will print out the name and then we're going to do the same thing that we just did in the script, adding that dollar sign to the beginning and using said to add the commas. And when we do that, we can now say uh, get average. And there we go. It lists out each person's name and their five year high, five highest years at 75 percent uh, underneath their name. Now we also want to know the monthly things. So I have a script called get monthly and it's the same exact thing except for I'm throwing that monthly or that yearly salary into a file called average which is really the 75 percent of the average. So now I can cut that out here I add in the, this is where I add the dollar sign here and add in the commas. It's a little bit easier to read that way. And then here I'm doing the same thing, but we're adding the divide by 12. So now if I say get monthly, I also add a divider line between each name. So you can see each person's name, their yearly retirement from their pension, and their monthly retirement. These are some pretty high numbers, but again, I put an average from 30,000 to 120,000. <coughs> and the main reason I did that was just so that we can have some larger numbers uh, when it comes to sorting, I could show you that once you get to 100,000, you have to make sure you sort it the right way. Um, so that is that, and that is all that we're going to do in this tutorial. Next time, we're going to show how to generate other types of output for this. So I do thank you for watching. I hope that you are enjoying this. I know it's a bit much, but if you've watched previous tutorials, everything we're going through is just review. And again, scripting this out, um, allows you to, well, script it out rather than having a spreadsheet that each person has a different spreadsheet. Here you can throw this script on a server and have it output the information. Um, so thank you for watching. Visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. There's a link in the description. As always, I hope that you have a great day.